Hi guys, it's been a while, but my name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 124. So moving forward, I for my Patreon uh, page, I will pretty much record and attach all of my reads all in one video per week or per month depends on how many episodes i am able to release per week um that way it's a lot easier for you guys instead of like clicking on each video to watch uh it will go it will be the same for all my other reads as well for like you know the room not remarried empress but like my in-laws are obsessed with me or i'm the queen in this life all the video for anything for patreon will be attach in one big video for that week so anything that's released on youtube normally it's be like three videos of uh i'm the queen in this life it will be all attached three videos in one for patreon viewers so anyways let's go ahead and get started for the purple hyacinth it's been so long i don't know where i left off but yeah Purple Hyacinth, episode 124. So, they're not cutting your head off yet. Impressive. Never doubted my capability to pull this off. Have you forgotten who I am, Bella? You've been playing with fire. And I will burn them all to cinders when the right time comes. I've agreed to play their game for now. But all the trump cards are in my hands. So, you are not done going behind their backs. Surprised? I thought you'd know me better after all those years, Bella. Not that surprised, no. But, do you really think the leader would trust anything you do from now on? <laughs> I couldn't care less about his trust anymore. He has no choice but to cooperate with me. I see. What's going on with you, Bella? There used to be nothing like multiple murders in a row to lift up your spirits. Perhaps I'm getting bored of killing useless people left and right. But no one's got quite the same talent as you do, dearie. Shh. Hmm? Huh? Was oh, that young Bella? Finally, they can give you what you deserve. You did every single, everything, single, you did everything, single thing I ever asked you with vigor. Steal, spy, and even kill when I needed you to. You gave me everything that I had. Something you should never forget. Why did you call me here today? Other than for the pleasure of your company, I will need you tomorrow. I will attend the premiere of a new play. A charitable event for fundraising that many nobles will attend. Considering the recent new measures, there will be increased security all around the theater. But there is no one I trust more than you for this, my sweet viper. The blueprints of the Mirage Opera House. Be ready for seven. Understood. Another thing. Don't forget your mission. 
The fourth wants your report on the purple hyacinth soon. Of course. Who is? Okay. Dakin's idea is preposterous. How could we stoop so low? Your father would be rolling over in his grave. My father is the reason the whole thing even started, Lisbeth. The Phantoms proved they won't back down, no matter what we do. Why don't we get rid of them once and for all? Attack them in their underworld. Give them a blow they wouldn't be able to recover from. We've known for a while they've found a way to infiltrate the ancient ruins of the city and made them their headquarters. Maybe that's also where they've, they're hiding their explosive and will kill two birds with one stone. We've talked about this already. It's mostly pointless and dangerous to attack them there. Even more so if they're hiding explosive. The access to those catacombs was shut off since the war over five centuries ago. Some parts were destroyed. Others were sealed and used as foundations when the city was rebuilt. We don't know what the Phantom Scythe has done with it since. It only is it uncharted territory for us, but a violent confrontation there would make that could make anything above it collapse. We wouldn't do it without careful preparation, obviously. We can send in more spies, have them map out the underworld, and prepare our soldiers for accordingly. They've had years to set up their defenses. All the hounds we've sent there were either killed or barely made it back. And don't forget that they've got more spies in our ranks than we do in theirs. They might know what we're trying to do before we even formulate a proper plan. Don't you think we've let that vermin proliferate in our city for long enough? Enough proliferate. Even if half the city collapses, we should wipe those criminals out once and for all. Like I said, it's pointless, Lisbeth. Destroying their hideout will not erase them all. It may be their headquarters, but it's not storing all their people or supplies. Even if we kill them, their ideas and claims will remain. They started gaining the sympathy our people despite scaring them. Dakin is right in that regard. That's one thing we do need to consider, I suppose. Trying to silence them and destroying their underworld is not going to put an end it, end it to it. Rather, it might drive our people to insurrection. My father was able to get rid of the snapdragon because they were much less numerous and influential. We cannot do the same thing with the Phantom Scythe this time. So you want to cooperate with them? I'm starting to consider it. Yes. They become too unpredictable. Who knows what they are capable of doing if they do start a revolution. They could attack us here directly or go after Arthur to blackmail us. I know. We've been protecting him as much as we can, but the thought that they might harm him haunts me every day. Me too, Elizabeth. It seems like we might have a chance to avoid a civil war. For the sake of our people and the future of Ardos, we should take it. Fine. I've been thinking that Redcliffe's ball might be a good setting for the negotiation. Like Dakin said, his philanthropism makes him well appreciated by the public, and his participation would be a good asset to have. However, we need to know if we can trust him beforehand. I've already tasked Neira to get closer to him, he will be attending the same play as he does tomorrow. Good. Oh. 
Wow. Okay. It's been a long time, so it took me a while to like figure out who they were. And of course, I think they they are the king and king and queen, right? King and queen, queen king and queen, and not like a emperor and empress, right? Okay. It's getting a little bit darker and darker because I don't know the face to everyone. Uh, like the mystery, the people who's within the Phantom Scythe, but also like going against them. And it's, it's a lot of like, it's not an easy game of checkers. It's, it really is a bunch of different moves and they're playing chess. So like everyone's going left and right, front, forward, backward. It's like, it's a lot of moving parts and it's overwhelming for me right now. But I feel like it will make more sense as we continue reading ah <sighs> all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i read this feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and let's uh go to the next one